Good afternoon, garden friends. It's Heather at Bush Poppy Farm. It is actually the same day as yesterday's video. Uh, it's just in the afternoon and I'm in my home garden trying to get the irrigation work done. Uh, it's still super windy, but I'm a little more sheltered here because we're down in a little valley and there's taller trees around. So I'm hoping that maybe I can get this done without being beat to death by the wind. <laughs> My hat kept flying off. It was like stinging my eyes. Yeah, it was really crazy out there. Uh, we've got a lot of downed material here in the garden as well, broken branches and things like that. So I got to do some cleanup there. But I did bring my punch with me. And this is going to allow me to attach the drip irrigation so that I can get all of these in-ground beds all wired up. And I actually really like doing irrigation. Uh, it's it's fun. There's something kind of relaxing about it. So um, I will set you guys up. Uh, hopefully the wind will not knock the camera over. <laughs> that, that happened a lot earlier. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. But I, it is really nice to have sunshine. Um, so I'm enjoying that even though it's windy. All right, let's start getting some irrigation going to these beds. Okay, well, I got most of it done. I still need to do the fruit trees, but let me show you what I've done. I've, I'm testing it right now, running it, and it looks like there's no problem. Uh, we have so much pressure on this system that um, I was pretty sure I wouldn't run into any difficulties in stringing lots of uh, long runs of uh, drip tubing. So let's start over here. So from here, you can see I've got, it, it looks like four runs, but what it is is two. It starts here goes down and comes back here. So it's a closed loop and the same with that. And it looks like I've got a little hole in that. I don't really care because that's 
just giving them a little bit more water. <laughs> so this whole bed has four runs on it and that should be enough. And they're dripping hard. So that means there's plenty of flow. And then here, I poked one hole here and we've got uh, solid tubing. So it has no emitters in it that runs to here where it then picks up with emitter tubing and um, comes all the way down here. I again spliced it with non-emitter tubing uh, going through the pathways here so that I'm not wasting water in a pathway um, and then picked it back up and it's definitely giving plenty of water. This one goes around here and back up and around <laughs> and down. This is all one system and then back up and it ends right here. So that's a very long run for that. Uh, and part of it is going uphill. So we'll see how it does. I may have to readjust that and just run another line off, but that's okay. Yeah, so we're definitely running here and here. Not nearly as much though. I think kind of looks like it stops. Like it doesn't really seem to be coming out here. So I think what I'll do is I'll cut this off down there somewhere and then run a fresh line uh, for this run right here. And I'll be going down and it'll be just fine. Actually, come to think of it, if I pick up this, the end of this run and I connect it back, do the closed circuit, I bet that will fix the problem. So I'll test that out. Um, but I think that's all I can manage for today. Yeah, because it's just a little too long, I think. When it comes back up the hill, it's having a harder time, which makes sense. <laughs> so I may have to run two lines because I want to make sure that I'm getting plenty of water in here, especially this bed, because I think tomatoes are going here. But I'm running it for 20 minutes, so we'll see what it looks like after 20 minutes. But yeah, I think what I'm going to do right now is try to attach the end here instead of that being an end, attach it back uh, to the main line and see what happens because that might increase the pressure. Yay, that fixed the problem. So I have no problem with it running now and I just connected it back up here. So it's closed system again. I do need to dig up, dig a trench and bury all this stuff so nobody trips over it. Same thing with down here but I don't have time to worry about that today. Last bit of irrigation that I need to run is I need to tap into the main line up here again and run uh, solid tubing to here where I'll then put in uh, not emitters. Well, maybe I will because there are actually dahlias in here in between all of these uh, trees. So maybe I will just run two uh, lines of emitters, one down and one up. Um, and then I'll do it again along the fence line because we've got blackberries and blueberries over there. I was thinking I would put sprinklers on there and maybe I'll do that for the fence line stuff. I don't want to run too much um, irrigation along the fence line because if I do that, then all the St. John's wort that's part of the creek bed really gets, you know, starts encroaching into the property. So um, if I just water with the sprinklers, the little sprinklers top things on the drip, um, the blackberries and the blueberry pots, that's probably a better shot on that on that end. But here in the fruit trees, like I said, there are dahlias in this bed as well from two years ago, and they'll come up again. And uh, so that way they'll get some water too. And yeah, I think we'll be good. All I need to do is fill up the Oyas, but I think this, what I've gotten here in terms of water is gonna be just fine. You know, I'll just keep an eye on things. When it gets really hot in the summer, I may have to run additional time, um, but that's actually not unusual. You know, when it's 100 degrees and windy, uh, the plants are gonna need way more water than they normally would, so. Okay, well, I think that's gonna be it for me today uh, for this video. Irrigation done at home. I'm very happy. Well, not completely done. I still have to do the fruit trees, but that's okay. That won't take too long. Um, but everything else is good. Yeah, I just gotta bury these lines so nobody trips. And then 
we're set. And I like that I can see it dripping. There's plenty of pressure. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today, you guys. I really appreciate you. And I hope you have a wonderful time in your garden and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.